Hello, and welcome to the Mid-Ohio Valley Public Forum video podcast. Um, our podcast features issues of interest to the residents of the Mid-Ohio Valley area and hopefully beyond. The coronavirus pandemic has changed our lives quite a bit. And unfortunately, the pandemic is still ongoing. So here we are still over a year and a half later, still doing our socially distanced um, podcast interviews with people and about in things of interest to people in the Mid-Ohio Valley. Today, we're excited to speak with Teresa Hager of the Jackson County Animal Shelter, which is located in Cottageville, West Virginia. Let's bring her in. Thanks for joining us, Teresa. We're glad to have you today. Yes. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, um, October's adopt a shelter dog month. <laughs> and so uh, that's why we're particularly happy to talk to you today. We're hoping maybe we can help you get some of those dogs out of the shelter and into their forever homes. Awesome. <laughs> so we've heard that animal rescues and humane societies across the U.S. have uh, felt the impact of the coronavirus pandemic in, in different ways. Um, how has the pandemic affected you guys down at the Jackson County Animal Shelter? Well, in the beginning, um, a lot of the rescues, they, we were trying to get dogs to rescue. All the shelters were trying to unload all the dogs they could because we heard, I mean, it was a known fa fact that everybody was going to dump their dogs when it started, you know, so everybody was on a rush. I mean, we loaded up a bunch, got health certs on them and away to Hagerstown, Maryland, we went for our transport. Um, but it was the complete opposite. Everybody was shocked. Um, nobody dumped their animals, <laughs> you know, um, so it was hard to get animals for people to adopt. The, um, the one thing that was good on our part, we were one of the animal shelters in three states that was open. Um, mm -hmm. So we did a lot of awesome adoptions, um, especially up in the Columbus area um that we would have never ever got you know so we weren't bad on throughout the whole COVID you know when it first started so and then after things eased up a little bit and the no mass and all this um then everybody started dumping their animals mm -hmm. and ever since probably I would say the first of June we have been steady, full, and not even a kennel open. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. So, for a little shelter, we've been full. <laughs> so, Teresa, tell me about the services that you all offer there in Jackson County. Okay. We're mainly dogs and cats. Um, uh, we mainly take strays. Um, we will take owner surrenders if it's an animal we feel we can get adopted or rescued. Um, uh, we don't charge a fee for Jackson County uh, people to take their animals. Um, so we tend to just take the strays. And like I said, we take owner surrenders. Um, uh, we do when we pull litters of puppies from somebody that might have um, animals that's unfixed, we do spay and neuter the male and the female um, if they have them both um we want to stop that you know <laughs> we mm -hmm. don't want to have to every year take a litter of pups from somebody so um and that's one of our rules when we take them that's what we do you know mm -hmm. or we won't take them so that's a good thing mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> and same way uh, with cats too you know <laughs> on that what's your adoption process look like Okay, um, we have you fill out an application and then we go from there. Um, check, uh, we check vet references. If you rent, we need to talk to the landlord. Um, uh, mainly what we can go by is our vet reference. We know that if you take um, your other animal to the vet, then we know you're gonna take this one, you know? Um, we do not adopt to people that has animals that's unfixed. Every now and then there are circumstances that it couldn't be fixed, you know, 
and that would be from a vet to tell us why it wasn't, you know, but, you know, we feel that that's why we're in the business because of people not getting animals fits. So that's kind mm -hmm. of a rule we go by. That makes sense. Yes. So what are your greatest needs right now and how can people help you there? Okay. Right now we have, we, of course, we have a lot of cats and kittens, mainly kittens, um, and we, they're up for adoption. Um, we have a lot of big dogs right now, and that's something that's hard to play, you know, mm -hmm. hard to get adopted. A lot of them are very active dogs. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them just need TLC, you know, just for somebody to have time with them, you know, so... Right now, that's our biggest need. We're supposed to be getting a new animal shelter within the next year. So we're excited about that. Um, you know, that's going to help us a whole bunch too for being a very small uh, uh, shelter. Yeah. Do you have foster? Um, um, we foster do. We, we do sometimes, but... Um, a lot of people in our area do not have fenced in yards. So that's one of our kind of one of our requirements. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, and of course, with the bigger dogs, you know, it, it's really hard, you know, and they're active. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I <have one. laughs> yes. yes. So Jackson County doesn't have a very large population. Um, what yeah. happens if you can't find a home for an animal in Jackson County? I know you mentioned that you've done adoptions all the way out into Columbus. Um, yeah, yeah. We we have a pet finder and adopt a pet. Our rescue coordinator, um, Dreama Lamasters, puts it on there, and then it's open for people to adopt in other towns and stuff like that. And we also deal with um, we have a rescue group that we deal with that has like over 200 different rescues in it. Um, and usually about every other week or every three weeks, we're really down to like once a month right now um, that we transport them part way up and our rescues meet us. So, yeah. So, and if we don't get one adopted, we, we, we do not put them to sleep. The only reason to put an animal to sleep is um, vicious, um, court ordered, um, or sick that we can't help them, you know, mm -hmm. so we came a long way. <laughs> yeah, that's good to hear. Yes, cats, <laughs> and cats and kittens too, so <laughs> it's really, really good. We've had dogs here that we've had over a year. We just had a big old red bone mix, and he was right at 100 pounds. He just got a home here in Jackson County. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. living the life of Riley. I'm telling you, he's having a blast. And we're so happy for him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he waited so, long enough for it. Huh? Oh, yes, he did. He did. <laughs> he did. Well, do you have any fur babies you want to show us? Yes, I have one. <laughs> Come on. Let's get up. Let him see you. Come here. This little guy here. Oh. This is Percy, and Percy was a under surrender. Hi, buddy. Oh, I got a kiss. Um, <laughs> that um, a guy got married, and the lady had a dog and a cat, and um, oh. that man had not had Percy neutered, so he mm. was marking everywhere. So he mm. just came to us. So he's learning how to be nice to people. And um, he's got a spa appointment next week to, with the vet. <laughs> so, but you can see this little guy. Look how cute these little shits are. He's in. adorable. Yes, he is. He's decided that uh, my office is his is his uh, house, and he likes to protect my office. <laughs> but he's he's a good boy. He just needs some TLC somebody to be really good to him and patient with him mm -hmm. yeah so that's Percy <laughs> well Teresa we want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us today oh, thank you and, guys. Uh, 
we are pet lovers ourselves. I have a rescued dog and a uh -huh. rescued cat. And, yeah. Um, they were actually strays that were out on the street that I just oh. adopted straight off the street. So yeah. I, they never even made it into the shelter. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They bring us so much joy. That oh, I they hope, do. Yeah, they I do. hope other families can find a, a pet to adopt from your shelter that will give them a lot of joy. Yeah, yeah. We try to post them out on on our Facebook page and adopt a pet and pet finder. Um, just make sure it's Jackson County, West Virginia, because we get calls all the time from Mississippi, Michigan, Ohio. There's a lot of Jackson counties. So. <laughs> Yeah, they're even in a yeah. song, right? Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we have we have two dogs here at our house, a three-year-old mm -hmm. Springer named Pete and our adopted doodle mix, Berg, who is famous in his own right. He has his own Facebook and uh, social uh -huh. media pages because he does pet visitation work here at our local hospital. Oh, so, awesome. Um, they bring us and, and lots of people lots of happiness. And that's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm always encouraging of people, you know, if you have a little bit of love to spare and some space. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't take up much space and, mm -hmm. and really okay. they just want to be with people. So yeah. um, right. you want to expand your family um, or you want to help in some way, you can contact the good folks down at the Jackson County Animal Shelter um, either by their Facebook page or you can call them. That's 304-372-6064. And uh, so they would love to get you set up with a fur baby of your own. Thanks so much for joining us today and, and good luck getting those uh, sweet dogs and kitties forever home. <laughs> okay. Thank you.